The shooting at the Chabad of Poway Synagogue on April 27th terrorized the congregation on the final day of Passover. It's that terror that's the basis for the federal charges announced today. The federal complaint has a total of 109 hate crimes and civil rights violations. That's two for each of the 54 people in the synagogue during the shooting, plus one for the attempted arson attack on an Escondido mosque in March. Robert Brewer, U.S. attorney for the Southern District of California, says the suspect sought to obstruct people's constitutional right to practice their religion. The defendant violently targeted members of the synagogue and the mosque for no other reason than his hatred of the Jewish people and those of the Muslim faith. There were a few details of the shooting that came to light. The weapon used was this model of semi-automatic rifle, manufactured by Smith & Wesson. Prosecutors say the suspect picked it up at a licensed gun dealer in San Diego one day before the shooting, apparently breaking no laws. The suspect already faces state charges, to which he pled not guilty. Assistant U.S. Attorney Shane Harrigan says he'll be arraigned in federal court next week. Ultimately, um, the decision on what case is tried first or how this is handled uh, will be a joint decision. And understand, though, that any decision that is made will be in the best interest of the case and of ensuring that this defendant can be punished to the full extent of the law. Prosecutors say they'll determine whether to seek the death penalty after consulting with the survivors and the entire Chabad of Poway congregation. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.